Oh God, Dad. I don't... You got it? Got my ears. Get your, well, you don't need your ears just yet. Hold on. What's going on, everybody? Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys all enjoyed a wonderful meal. Turkey, chicken, ham, whatever you had. Hope it was great. Um, I haven't eaten yet, but by the time this comes out, you guys have already probably eaten and drank, and you're probably watching this half cock, three sheets to the wind. I hope it's interesting enough. But me and Shepard are in the garage. I'm gonna do a test piece with my new sandwich plates. So I'm gonna kinda go through a little bit on the Pomax, a little bit on what the sandwich plates do, if this is new to you, if this is first time watching the channel, I'll give you a little bit more information on these and what they do. So, let's get a piece, let's get started. All right, so what we got here is a sandwich plate. And what a sandwich plate does is allow you to put beads and details in sheet metal with a cleaner end result and a lot faster than you would with a bead roller or doing it by hand. Um, so it, you put your piece of metal in between. There's just little screws you put and thread into the bottom plate. And you take it over to, say, a Polmax or even a hammer with a rounded punch. And you kind of just beat the shape into it. I'm going to use the Polmax because it's repeatable and it's more accurate. I'll show you what a Polmax is when we get to it. For those who don't know right now i have drilled and tapped to 832 screws and i now have to drill the top plate a little bigger because i drilled this to the thread size and not to the bolt size so we're going to drill these out so the bolts fit in the top the pissa now uh not the pissa i'm going to use the driller then you're going to do the pissa dad uh maybe Seventeen. Gotta use the piss up, buddy. Getting the burrs off the back side. Okay. So now let me thread all my little bolts in. That's it, buddy. All right, so I got the top sandwich plate and just a scrap piece of metal that I have. Uh, I'm gonna use that to test it out. So lay it on top and clamp it so it doesn't move. But then we're gonna drill through these holes that I made. So everything lines up and I can just thread it into the bottom sandwich plate. See if I drilled all the holes right. What? You think I did it right, buddy? Oh no, you didn't. No. What? What? You did it all wrong, Dad. You did it all wrong. Oh, you have, you have a little faith. Too long. Let's go over here, Dad. I have tons of bolts. Tons of bolts, huh? I have tons of ones. All right. So now, got the sheet metal sandwiched in between the two sandwich plates. Now let's take it over to the Pomax. 
I'll tell you a little bit about that and we will smash this bead in. All right, so when I'm smashing beads with my Pomax, um, I use this round upper die and a flat plat and lower so my sandwich plate can glide across it. So put these in. And a Pomax, for you guys that don't know, it is a reciprocating machine. So all it really does, this top goes up and down. That's it. The dies aren't supposed to contact each other. It's not like the power hammer to it. Smack, 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 smack. Um, it just moves up and down and moves the metal into position. Uh, it can stretch. It can shrink. But mainly it just moves the metal. See, when I turn it on, it's not, it's not awfully loud. It's not really that dangerous. It can be, of course, but you don't have to tiptoe around this machine as you do really, uh, say, the power handle. But let's, uh, let's lube the die up, lube the panel up, and I'll show you what this thing does. All right, so I'm lubing this bottom just so my sandwich plate slides around nicely, doesn't get caught on anything. Uh, and I'll spray some in where the action's going to happen. Move it around a little bit. So this is down, reciprocating, and I lower this adjustment screw, which raises the table into the top die, and I do like a half turn at a time. I go around the perimeter. I do another half turn, go down the perimeter until I have the depth of the bead I want, and then you just take it off, and your bead's pretty much done. You just gotta fill these holes. Uh, so I'll show you that process now. Um, the benefit of having a sandwich plate like this is it allows you to press in this bead, press in this detail, without affecting the surrounding material. So this sandwich plate is clamping the material, so when I pull it out, this panel is going to be dead flat. Um, and usually, if you didn't have something like this, it would be all wavy and crooked because it's pulling, when it's pushing in here, it's pulling material from the sides. With the sandwich plate, it's just stretching the material that's exposed. So you'll see that at the end, but let's uh, let's go smash this in. And uh, now you can see it popping out from the back side. I went all the way down. There's actually kind of a flat on it, which might be kind of a cool detail. Maybe not go as deep next time. But let's take it out and see. Why is this one so tight? I can't get it out. Woo. There we go. All right. Sandwich. Plate. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ooh. You love a sandwich plate, huh? Hold on, buddy.
And look at that. All the detail, crisp edges, nice round tops, and everything else is flat. You can't beat a sandwich plate. So, there we go. That's it. All right, that was a little quick little how-to informational video on sandwich plates for your Thanksgiving day. Hopefully you had some turkey sandwiches along with my sandwich plates. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.